But today, he's played very well. Taking a lot of marks, and that's a mammoth kick in towards the 10 metres, the 10 metre square. Almost a mark down there to Davis. Not played by the umpire. Davis has a snapshot of goal and has, let me see, caught up one flag. So Collingwood wasting a few opportunities. Davis almost taking that grab. 13, 14, 92 now. Geelong, 11, 10, 76. 16 points the difference, and we approach the 21-minute mark of this last quarter. Ball back at the play by Jan Smith. Peter Moore and Blake go for the knockout. Punched away by Blake. Back there towards Clark. Burn coming after him now. Beats him for the ball. A hand pass back there to Wilmo. Collingwood go back into attack up there towards the full forward zone. Rene King at the back. They all fly, spoil each other. And now King's got it. He's grabbed. Gets a hand pass back to the wrong man. The ball forced out again. Tony the Ray Shaw goes down. And the umpire's got a ball on about 25 metres out from the Collingwood goal. There's 16 points in front. And we're at the 21 minute mark now. Stewart and Blake. Knocked out by Blake, the wrong man. Sure has a snap for goal, it's smothered. Back it comes to lower punch out there. It'll go through for a point again. So it's 17 points the difference. And the catch need three goals to win it. 13, 15, 93 Collingwood to Geelong, 11, 10, 10, 76. Well, no one's left the ground here today because it's been a magnificent game. Blake and uh, Moore, they both miss it. This is Weir Mouth's chance to have a top shot at the goal. Not Weir Mouth, uh, Bulmo. Doesn't make the distance. Up they go. Oh, he's got it. Good mark to Jan Smith there. Nearly lost it in the goal square. This Geelong defence is really under pressure now. A short pass coming out to Whitcomb. It's OK. And he takes the mark a little short of the back pocket position. Geelong better get a hurry up if they're going to win this game now. Up to Moore and Blake. Pushed down to the ground. Dacos, a hand pass to Weir now. Weir now running to an open goal. Fires. He won't make the distance. Yates and the little short. Battling for the ball. There's a go now. Lowe couldn't get it, he's grabbed, he goes after the game. They're all piling on top of it. And uh, the umpire may ball this up. No, he won't. As we see Shaw trying to get out, it's going to be a ball up about 10 metres out from the Collingwood goal. Well, how would you like to be out there? A goal here would just about seal it for Collingwood if they can get one. Stewart trying to crash his way through the pack. when Renee King couldn't get it. Oh, what was that? The umpire called plenty. They're not giving any uh, for chip penalty free kicks. Umpire still calling play on. He's given him a chance to get rid of it. It's a hand pass. Comes over to Bruns. He's grabbed it. He gets it out for Feather. He backed up Bruns again. Now it's Geelong's turn to go on to attack. And it's Bruce Nancurvis taking it over the half forward line. It'll fall a bit short and a chance for Billy Pickham to take the mark down there towards the back pocket. Pickham now looking his game in the final term. Goes for lead out towards Ray Byrne. Pick number 11 for Byrne. If it had a been, he's gone for the hand pass to Weirmouth. Clark's running his hammer. Ronnie Weirmouth. Looks for low, it's over his head. Out comes Yates from the back pocket. Played very well today. I know Billy Goggin is a big rap for him. And short passes to Bruce Van Curvis right on the point of the square. And Curvis goes wide, looking for Turner. Naturally he would because he's best man on the ground. Michael Turner's short pass to Terry Bright. He's been quiet today. He can score a goal from there though. Fires it at the big sticks. Looks okay. Wait for the goal on fire. Four points. Badly needed one for Geelong, and they come back in this preliminary final. Seven big league scoreboard, Collingwood 13 15, Geelong 12 10. Well, there's still anything up to 10 minutes of play left, uh, Peter. Probably closer to seven, but uh, you know, maybe even as long as 10 minutes. And uh, Geelong are still really in their pitching. Their back line is uh, doing a great job. Turner on screen now as we watch the replay. Turner has been absolutely magnificent, particularly in this last quarter. And that's one of the rare occasions that Bright's been able to get away from Ireland, but he certainly made the most of it. Back into the centre, 82 plays 93 at the 23 and a half minute mark. Collingwood through Ron Weirmouth towards half forward. Lowe is there for the Magpies. It's knocked away from him by Jan Smith. Carlson overruns the ball. Middle miss. Back towards Lowe. Carlson in trouble. Tries to get it out to a teammate and Stewart not successful. Middle miss is down. Umpire not playing any ticky touch with free kicks at this stage of the match. Uh, match and Jan Smith for Geelong now. Gets them out of the danger zone towards centre wing. Kevin Morris knocks it on towards uh, Byrne. Short passes up towards Carlson. Runs a little bit late on the scene. A wild hand pass. Tony Shaw. Reed. Weirmouth. They all miss it. Out towards Turner again. Give up sore feet tonight kicking the ball or sore fist from punching it. Little short kick up towards half forward over the top. Johnston. Pickens mark. Took it out of his hands. Pick him there at centre half 
back are very doubtful one indeed. And of course, if the Magpies happen to win this game, it'll cause a lot of controversy. The 15 metre penalty, and of course, now we're at the 25 minute mark, and the Magpies still in front by 11 points. At this stage of the game, Lou, there's no doubt that uh, Bill Della must have been very firm in his uh, opinion that uh, Pickin had first grab of the ball, and it just does show the value of being in front. Well, another thing, too, he didn't hesitate when he paid the decision. Uh, Bobby just went straight for Billy Pickett. The ball kicked over centre-half forward. Zane Taylor and Rene kick at the back as Davis. Neither side can take the mark. A hand pass from one. How it goes down to Middlemas. A chance now for Geelong to get the ball clear as it's sent up there towards that half-forward line for them. There's more going for it. Got under the mark. Couldn't grab it. Oh, one of the place to Billy Pickett. Got it clear. And the ball back towards Collingwood's half-forward. But Geelong are not giving up if we see a hand pass. Coming back here now to Featherby, it bounces right. Another one back, and Geelong are really playing top football. As the ball comes back there to Bruns, he's grabbed, gets a hand pass back. Back it comes to Billy Pick and ducks his head, he's grabbed. Umpire call play on, and rightly so too. There's a real tackle down there by Stan Magro. It's Bruce Mancurvis driving them as a chance for Geelong now. A mark, a mark to bus there at full four, and a full four about 40 metres out. He wouldn't be that. If he kicks this goal, it would be, what, uh, five points the difference? Right. Well, uh, Gully, are they playing strong football? Too long? You've got to give them full marks. And Bruns has already kicked, uh, not Bruns, uh, Boss, I should say, the chance to kick uh, his third goal. And that's what he's done. So the Cats are right back in there now. So at the uh, 26 and a half minute mark, it's only five points the difference. Calling with 13, 15, 93. To Geelong, 13, 10, 88. A great move uh, to put Boss down onto the forward line after half time. Uh, he had been uh, struggling in the defence and he's re really uh, done the job there with uh, three goals in this half. 27 minutes now gone in the preliminary final last quarter. Five points the difference. Still anybody is matched. Peter Moore and Blake. Moore gets it down. Reed intercepting. And breaks away for Geelong, driving them up towards left half forward. Bruns and Magro. Another chance for Johnston. Can he put Geelong in front? Thrown back out to Bruns. Neville Bruns has a shot for goal. It's going goalwards, but is off target. And through for only one point to make it four points the difference. Can Collingwood hang on? 27 and a half minutes gone in the final quarter. Next goal would probably win it for either side. I don't think there'll be that much time on in this final term as McCormack goes towards the member stand side. Kink over the top. Play on, or is it a mark? Umpire Kevin Smith saying no mark. Collingwood fans disappointed, Geelong fans say naturally enough. Ball up, half back. There are runners and trainers everywhere at the moment on the field. Both runners are out there. Moore and Blake. Kink. Oh, I got tripped up. We'll get a free kick, no doubt about that one. And Kink going back. Taking his time, realising Collingwood have time on their side at the moment. In he comes. And funny sort of kick dropping short. Centre field, knock on by Woolno. Two Geelong players there. Middle Mr. Bruce Van Curvis was well done. Turner and Carlson. Turner, at, no, didn't take the grab on that occasion. Lee Carlson beats him to it and well played. Carlson towards right half forward, but only Jan Smith for Geelong is there. Craig Davis, there's the sire. Well, in about an hour. 30 metres around from the Hawthorne.